100 foods to eat before you die. I've been traveling and eating all around the world and here are the 100 foods you need to eat before you die. And these are in no particular order, so add them to your food bucket list. Number 11, Kasama. Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Chicago and this is gonna be a treat. You know how much I love Filipino food? But I've never been to a Michelin star Filipino restaurant before. This is gonna be a good night. Let's go. First dish is the kini lao. Smells so wonderful when they brought it out. Pearl spoon, and this is uh, kaluga caviar, hamachi, which is yellowtail, and coconut on the side. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so unbelievably smoky. Mm. Oh, this is a dish for the ages. The yellowtail. Incredibly delicate. Caviar, obviously, light and briny. I never had anything like this with the coconut cream before. Mmm. The smokiness is just compounded by the sweet aroma and flavor of the coconut. So every bite is smoky, sweet, tender, briny, creamy. Just absolutely superb. Next dish, lumpia and also talaba. Talaba is orishi oysters, green mango and mezcal, which is a type of alcohol. Presentation is so beautiful. Sitting on a plate of ice to keep this chill. Wow. This is amazing. This is so crazy. Fried hot spring roll inside a rice wrapper with herbs and noodles and this delicious, sweet and spicy dipping sauce. Holy moly. Look at that chewy texture from the rice wrap. Look at the crunch from the spring roll. Look at that awesome meatiness inside. Mm, works so well with that dipping sauce. Oh my goodness. And these are the oysters. Look at this. I think this thing you just chuck it. Mm. That was crunchy, it was citrusy, it was sweet, it was tender. You did not expect such a little oyster to have that much flavor. Next up, Nyo'aga. This looks supremely delicate. It's cabbage on short grain rice, and under the cabbage is A5 Miyazaki Wagyu. And then on the side, there's a bone soup to sip along with this between bites. Oh my gosh. This might be the only time in my life I'm picking up a piece of cabbage that I dropped with such urgency. Wow. Wow, the smoky cabbage. I think the rice is a little vinegary, so I think it's maybe sushi rice. The broth? Mmm. Well, oh, that's hot. Oh, that is beefy. Wow. Feels like I'm sipping on the elixir of life right now. And it goes so well with the rice because the rice is a little vinegary. Ah, so nice paired with this fatty, delicious soup. I mean, there is a lot of fat in there. You will not need lip gloss for a week after sipping on that. Mm. Each dish just keeps getting better and better. Three dishes in, already mind blown. This is so amazing, this place. This is gonna be good. They call this a shomai. Basically a dumpling with pickled mushrooms and foie gras inside. So a little bit of woodier. Wow. Mushrooms are so crispy. The broth is very oily and fatty. It's so delicious. Man, it goes so well with the pickled mushrooms. Dumpling skin is thin, it's meaty. I think this is a dish that the best way to eat it is all the ingredients together in one bite. Don't really taste the foie gras as much, but it's a delicious dumpling. And I think an even more delicious broth. I think this might be the only time in my life I like the mushroom and the broth more than I like the dumpling. And it's a pretty darn good dumpling. Next dish is the national dish of the Philippines, adobo. This one is made with maitake mushroom and muscle emulsion, which is pretty much just the foam here. Wow. To say this had a flavor explosion would just be insulting it. Mm. 
the flavor of the adobo shines through so well. That savory umami flavor with that nice vinegary hit. Mm. I'm about to pick up this bowl and lick the rest of this stuff. That works so well with that earthy flavor of the mushrooms. One of my favorite dishes tonight. Among all the amazing dishes they served already. It's salmon tamarind sauce and smoked salmon roll. Wow. Also a salmon skin chicharron. With tamarind on here, I wish it was so fast because of this. Mm. The salmon is fatty. The roll gives it a, such a fun little pop and texture. If you pair it with this, it's just perfect. This thing is a little sour. So airy and crunchy. I was waiting for this to show up. I knew there's gonna be a version of Pincette Serrano Ham Squid Ink Pasta. And I think some um, shrimp and scallop conserva on the bottom. Mm. My kind of dish. Mm. First of all, it's noodles. I love noodles. Ham is delicious. The seafood has such a great, rich, deep, miso-esque flavor. And every bit of that just soaked in to the squid ink noodles. It doesn't lose on its interpretation of a pincette, but it's just glorified. It's so good. Next dish is the kare kare. And of course, this is a peanutty stew. Lamb belly, of course, peanut, and XO sauce. And some flatbread to wipe up the sauce. Mm. That is a tender, fatty piece of lamb, charred and toasty on the outside. Super peanutty. Mm. Most flatbread is amazing. So thin and toasty. Perfect for dipping up any sort of sauce. Mm. Final savory dish, A5 Wagyu caramelized onions and calamansi. That is a tender, tender piece of steak. Mm. Never had A5 Wagyu paired with calamansi. First of all, the caramelized onions are bliss. So smoky and sweet, perfect for the fatty, buttery Wagyu. It's on to dessert. Three dessert courses. First one, check this out. Truffle croissant with honey and cheese. Mmm, -hmm. freaking gone. Cheese is just this creamy bliss inside. Truffle on the outside and the delicious honey glaze. Make sure all that truffle stays on this beautifully airy, crispy, flaky croissant. Oh my God. This thing is both savory and sweet, creamy and crunchy. Second to the last dessert already. This is a take on a popular street food in the Philippines. Caramelized Saba Plantain with Diplomat Cream. Wow. I mean, the savory items at this place are already so good. I can't think the desserts even more. Oh my goodness. The banana is just caramelized so nicely. Look at that smoky, sweet flavor. So the plantain has just such a nice chew. Combine that with a cloud-like cream. I think I finished that in like two seconds. And I'm trying to savor it. Like I was trying to cut it up to little pieces, but really I just wanted to shove the whole thing in my mouth. I know dish of the meal, of course, Halo, halo. This thing has Asian pear granita, pandan ice cream, and a flan. Mm. Perfect conclusion to such an amazing Filipino meal. The dishes were superb. I'm always a big fan of traditional food, but I love how they were able to integrate different and new ingredients into traditional cuisines. I love how they also are embracing that traditional sign because in the daytime, this place is a traditional Filipino food cafe. The nights and weekends is this. And you can tell the chefs are really care about the ingredients, really care about the food, and they really care about the culture. And if you are a fan of Filipino food, come here and try this. Again, the only Michelin star Filipino restaurant in the world.